Tricia is in Huntsville. Hi, Tricia. How are you? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? I was calling about my mom. Um, I'm not really sure how to handle her situation. She has taken FPU three times over the past few years, and she had to file for bankruptcy. And now she still doesn't know how to manage her money. Yes, she, she does. She has come to me. She does know how to manage she her money. She just won't do it. Exactly. And so now she's going to have to have surgery on her wrist, and she's coming to me because she's going to have to file FMLA, so she's going to have to be without some of her paycheck. And she's telling me that she can't manage it. She doesn't know what she's going to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's the so next? I don't really what's, know how to... What, what's the surgery on the wrist? She has some kind of knot or something that's very painful, and so she's going to have to have it removed. Yeah. How long has it been there? Um, probably for about a year or so. Okay. All right. Well, I think this is her wake-up call. Okay. I think it's time for her to stay at work long enough to build up enough pay, pay in a savings account to be able to survive the time that she's off while she's on FMLA. Okay. I mean, what so if you what if you weren't there? To, what if you to weren't help. there to buy this drunk a drink? They wouldn't be able to drink, right? If you weren't there right. to buy to buy her her drinks, she wouldn't be getting drunk. Right. When you finance her misbehavior, you ensure it is going to continue. Okay. Does that make sense? Now, I don't, I don't so want her to just... die or something. I'm not trying to. If this is things cancerous and it's going to cause her hand to be no. cut off or something, but I, it sounds like this woman lives from one crisis to another, and they're all self-created. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I, I thought I was reading that in the mail, but I wasn't sure. So I, yeah. I, mean, I, I understand, so, and I'm not trying to be lacking in compassion. I want to be compassionate, but continuing to assist her in this behavior line that has been destructive to her is not compassionate. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so just completely cut but let me her just tell you, let me just tell you what I don't know. I mean, you got to sit down and figure out how you're going to do this in layers. But maybe you assist okay. her, maybe you assist her partially in return for her okay. engaging in behaviors that she knows she's supposed to be doing. Okay. But so far, she has refused all help that has to do with her straightening up. Yes. When I was a little kid. My dad used to say, "Straighten up and fly right." You ever heard that? I don't yeah. even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. I just knew we better straighten up. I never did fly, so right. I don't know what he meant, but I didn't fly <laughs> right, you know. But you know what I'm talking about. Straighten up. Behave, you know? Yeah. And, and, yes, and I did, I mean, because he, he would have whooped us if we didn't do what he said. So, you know, but <laughs> um, so, so the, in this case, we can't do that kind of stuff. But, but I, I got to just think that's what needs to happen here for her own good. You're aggravated with her. I am. Because you love so. her, because you love her, and you don't want to see her in pain, and she refuses mm-hmm. to do the things to cause the pain to go away. Mm-hmm. That's right. And, and you're more concerned about her behavior than she is. So I, I would I agree just, with that, yeah, yes. I think I just sit down and tell her all that. Say, you know how I love okay. you? Because let me just tell you, when you do all this, she's going to get pissed off, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Because she, she, she feels entitled to your money. Definitely. Yeah, that's weird. Henry Cloud calls that a boundary violation in the book Boundaries. How is she entitled to your money because she misbehaves? You're supposed to take care of your mama. There's a cigarette hanging out of your lip and the iron lung in the closet. I mean, come on. Seriously. Take care of your mama. Oh, my gosh. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.